Hi, this is Matmanaban from Informatica support team. Today we are going to watch a quick video on how to configure npm sample schema with npm db2 Linux version. The agenda that we are going to cover in this video is how to create npm sample with Oracle and what's the basic difference between creating npm sample with db2 and what are the prerequisites to configure npm sample schema, uh, how to create uh, in Windows in Linux and uh, file square to rebuild mtm sample schema and what are the limitations of creating a schema with db2 as you might already aware about uh, creating mtm sample with oracle so M in oracle mtm sample can be created with the dump file the tmp file so that dump file will be uh, with the same across all the platforms means we can just copy the dump file from one environment and you can copy it another environment and you can import it or export it in wherever you want but in db2 um, as you may already aware about that uh, backup and restore across different platforms is not supportable means uh, backup of uh, windows will not work in linux and backup of linux will not cannot be restored in windows in case if you want to uh, configure mtm sample in uh, windows environment we have to go to the backup file which is located in mdm home hub server resources database at db2 mtm sample directory i will just show you where it will look at how the file will be so this is the file we are going to db2 mtm sample basically it will be the file we need to unzip this mtm sample this is the backup file this uh, backup file will be coming as a part of uh, installation this backup file will only work for windows in case if you try to restore in linux it won't work so that's the reason we are uh, going to cover the steps in this video let's go back to the session again So, as we know that uh, this video will be uh, we will be covering how to configure mtm sample in Linux. So the re prerequisite is uh, you need to make sure you got the required files that is uh, configurations detail of schema and schema export from Informatica support team. For that you have to open a new case. And these are the steps to configure mtm sample. So before creating the mtm sample schema, you have to create a mtm sample database. MDM SMPL and uh, you have to apply the database and DBM configurations and you need to create the table spaces and buffer pools which is required and create the proxy rule and make sure that the uh, same system is there in case if the same system is not there we need to create it uh, again and create or import ORS called MDM sample and apply the DTL of MDM sample and import the data and set integrity and run with validation before that reach to the ORS and run with validation let's watch a quick video on how to do all these steps first step is MDM sample I'm just creating a database md yeah. so we are. yeah now database has been created as I said before, uh, we have to get the required files from Informatica support team. So these are the files. So now I'm directing towards the directory where I have placed the files. Now the second step is I need to apply the database and dbeam configuration. So these are the files. 
these are the files so before applying I have to connect to the database database and database manager configuration has been applied and the third step is we have to create the necessary table spaces and buffer pools this is the file so it have create buffer pool statement and table space creations so I'm going to execute this Now I have created the table spaces and buffer pools and the first step is creating proxy role. So this is the proxy role SQL. Just going to execute that. I have created the proxy role and the fifth step is uh, creating CMX system uh, in case if you are going to create a MDM sample in the already existing environment then CMX system will be already there and then you need to create it in case if you are going to create in a in fresh environment then you have to create a CMX system in this video I'm going to skip the CMX system and step 6 is uh, I have to create ORS so before creating the ORS make sure you have uh, MDM sample user created from your uh, uh, Linux environment since if you already created I'm just going to go to the database locations where we have the files necessary files so I'm just going to create uh, ORS I'm just editing the database top properties so host name is localhost database I created I renamed it MDM SMPL and username master username is CMX system the instance name here my instance name is db.inc2 the schema name is mdm underscore smpl so make sure this schema name should be uh, less than or equal to 8 characters and then the password and then the database name again and then the admin group and the user group I'm just going to run the zip and so Java home is not set I just set the Java home now I'm going to run the zip and Host. Put 
example MP sample scheme and simply name is MPL and the password and the DB machine password it's going to take some more time yeah now um, I'm going to import the ORS where the repos tables node will be getting created. On SMPL database name is SMPL. So here you should not get confused. Database name is SMPL and schema name is SM, SM, MDM SM, underscore SMPL. Just give some error. So in the unsupported Java version. So make sure you copy the correct JDK version which is supported and run the put or a second. the I think we have given the wrong port number let me give the right DVD port local host port number in this environment is 50010 sample yeah here the port number was wrong now I given the right port number it's going to take some more time Yeah, now the build has been completed and the step 7 is uh, apply DDL so for that we have to connect to the database so I'm going to apply the DDL npm smpl will create all the tables, views and require database objects. Now the detail has been imported. Next step is we have to import the data. So we have to go to the db2 move folder. And then we have to run the utility db2 move. db2 move database load elbow replace iphone u the insert name and iphone p your password it's going to import the data our data input has been completed so now we have to run set integrity since we use db2 move load command there may be some tables which will be in a uh, check mending state so we need to run set integrity and make sure the table is accessible state we need to run this uh, check to SQL to make sure the table is in access state make sure you run at least 4 or 5 times yeah now you have to restore your uh, ORS from MDM hub console, hub console and you need to run MET validation and make sure the MET validation went fine and the limitations of using MDM sample is uh, in Linux the you can have only the username should be up to 8 characters and for own more information you can contact Informatica support team and we would like to hear your feedback from support at informatica.com and twitter.com slash info support thank you for watching this video have a good day bye